Hey everyone, welcome back to another work away video. I'm at the horse farm in New York. So I just finished riding. Um, I rode Harley today. Yay! <laughs> it was so nice, but um, I, I probably look a bit disheveled. Also the riding helmet that I wear, I think it's a little bit too small for me. And after I'm done riding, I always have like this weird little indentation on my forehead. Oh well, that's what I love about animals. <laughs> they don't care how I look. They don't care how I dress. <laughs> they just want love and uh, attention. So this video is going to be about driving horses. Um, this is something that I actually didn't think I would be doing on this farm. Um, I thought that I would be riding horses, but um, the guy who's a work away -er from Pennsylvania, he actually has been um, to, um, on a previous, not even a work away, I think just like a previous internship, he um, learned how to drive draft horses. And what I'm saying when I, when I say driving horses, I mean that you're in a cart or a buggy behind the horse. Uh, driving them with extremely long reins and that's really cool <laughs> that's completely different than sitting on top of the horse um, and riding it <sighs> so I've been learning a whole bunch of new t uh, terminology and um, it's actually really crazy the the um, commands you give the horses is so similar to the commands that I learned when I was learning to drive sled dogs last year in Alaska which if you haven't seen those videos um, please watch them they're they're so great um, they're the first videos that I uploaded of a work away and it was totally awesome I think for the sled dogs I uh, if I wanted them to go I said hike but um, these horses here um, if you want them to go you say step and then whoa is the same for stopping and then turning left and right is the same terms um g and ha that's so crazy um but really cool and i guess that makes sense um might as well just keep keep the terminology the same just despite the species whoa i'm really not used to seeing myself without my my hair down um that's better i'm one of those people that i, I like having long hair and um putting it up um, I don't really put it up very much and I don't really change it very much it's always the same <laughs> the backdrop uh, that I've been filming this whole time um, it's the same so sorry <laughs> usually on workaways I'll try and find different backdrops to talk to you um, in the different videos to make things a little bit more interesting but uh, on this horse farm I'm just <laughs> let's just I just want to stay here this is a good spot so sorry it's been uh, the same uh, backdrop every time, but the content is different. So they're tied together now? Yep. Whoa. You know, one set of line, reins, lines that goes to both of them. And then that thing? What's that? Uh, that's the neck yoke. The neck so yoke. So that's what the, um, the pull of the cart is going to go up through there. Wow, you guys look great. Good boy, Toby. Good boy, Stetson. <laughs> Are you ready? Why? I don't know. Usually we lock them in the front. Yeah. Come on, boy. Come on. Whoa, they're so good at going sideways. Slow down, boys. They no listen to, to you so well. No need to run. No, no. Step, 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 Okay, step, step, What are those things called? Um, those are called single trees. And then the big one is double tree or an even tree. So kind of even that below. And the tongue is in the middle. Yep. And then the center thing between them is a neck yoke. Yeah. Oh, you 
got pretty sweaty, didn't ya? You're so huge. Good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy you are. <laughs> So good, Toby. That's all. I gave you three carrots. So, I still don't know a lot of the terms for driving horses, but some of the stuff that I do know is a little bit about their tack. So, the first thing you put on a horse when you're getting ready, getting them ready to drive, sorry if it's windy, um, you put on their collar. And <laughs> they look so funny wearing it like they're, they're dressed up or something. Um, and then you put on the haim. Uh, which are kind of like bars that go on either side of the collar and all the reins and um, straps go along the back of the horse's body and down behind um, their tail. I'm pretty sure uh, the crouper is the part that goes under the horse's tail behind their body. <laughs> I really should try and learn this better but guys I've, I've only been doing this for like a, a couple days. <laughs> The horses get all rigged up and they, they get the their reins on and their bridles and um, the bridles they have here have kind of, um, what are these called? There are blinders on either side um, to help the horses just look ahead and not to the side uh, and that's different. And then the cart, the whole cart situation is crazy. Um, there's the cart and then there's something called the tongue. and that's the bar that's going out from the cart that will go between the horses. There's something called a neck yoke that attaches to the front of the horses and the tongue. And then there's stuff behind the horses that I think are called, um, there's like a second tree and whiffle trees or whipple trees, I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, they're behind the horses and they're, and they're hooked up back there too. It's a whole situation. <laughs> oh, uh, that's too far, please. <laughs> come on, kid. Or come on. I can just do <laughs> She's too far. Good job. I Push. <laughs> Wait, I... Oh, you look so good, Molly. You look so good, Kate. You're looking like a pro. They're so cute. Wow. <laughs> okay, so ah, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, many seem very good. <laughs> they seem responsive. So yeah. um, really? <laughs> Does that one have a safety? long enough okay oh yeah so yeah and then
amazing. It's been so much fun. All of us pile in the cart and take off down one of the trails here uh, on the, our host's property. And the horses have been doing pretty good. Um, it's so different being in control of two horses instead of one. So they each have their own like way of walking and their own pace. So you kind of have to figure out how to get them to go at the same time. And it, it's just been, it's been so much fun uh, learning how to drive horses. <laughs> That's a skill that I have now. Yay. <laughs> it's still pretty muddy um, around here because it will only be sunny for a few days and then rain a few days. Um, so yeah, mud, mud flies up sometimes <laughs> from behind the horses and sometimes it's, it's so hard to um, get the horses from the pasture or try to feed them uh getting stuck in the mud yeah it's a big it's a big deal muddy isn't it boy oh that reminds me um there are some horse idioms that i looked up the other day because i realized um it's just funny it's it's interesting knowledge to know that there are idioms out there about horses one of the ones is uh, hold your horses <laughs> i like that one um uh also wild horses couldn't drag it from me that's a good one like i'll keep your secret um this one i didn't really know i i kind of know it but i don't think i've ever actually heard anyone ever say it before don't look a gift horse in the mouth that one means um always be grateful for a gift you receive from someone and don't ever say bad things about it i guess <laughs> they have so many different types of carts here and buggies and i'm just really excited to um, take different horses out and take different carts out and different buggies so far we've only just been um, in this tiny little red one but i think today we're gonna take out this huge green one and that, that'll be really fun and I'll film it. And we're, um, yeah, it would be so cool if we could take um, the horses in a buggy, like the way the Amish do, and maybe even drive them on the street. That would be, that would be crazy. Whoa, we're in a cart! That's so cool! I just wanted to update you on the latest and greatest thing that I've been doing here and I'm just really happy. Uh, work away always makes me so happy. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you haven't already um, watched the other videos that I've made of my time here at the horse farm which include um, chores and all the horses and fun tourist things that I've been doing around the area.